Creepy Cutie Crafty. Hello! And we are Creepy Cutie Crafty. And welcome again to our little crafting channel where we have a go at new crafting challenges and this week we've got a challenge haven't we? So we're going to be doing pop remakes. So we're going to be doing some Funko Pops. You've probably seen these, they're everywhere at the moment, these Funko Pop statuettes. And we've got a couple. We've got one male and one female and so we're going to be doing a remake. But frick all this because we've got something else. You want to go? No, no, don't do that. We've got this! Yeah! Okay, so yes, we do follow quite a few other YouTubers out there, and a couple of months ago we ordered from... Ba -da -ba 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 we ordered from Mariah Elizabeth, so her hand-designed Rubik's Cube with all of her different characters. So, there you go. Mine. Are you going to open it up? Oh my god, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's got, it's got, it's... <laughs> Ayo, that is so cute. Let's get it mixed up! So, do you want to show them all sides of it? So we've got this side, this side, this side, and this side, and this side, and... oh, bumpy. Right, so which one of these is your favourite on here? I think I kind of like the little ghost. Where is it? The little ghost there, the little <laughs> YouTubing ghost. I like that one. Which one's that one? Pickle's girlfriend, yeah? We're quite pleased with that, and we're going to be using that as a bit of an inspiration, maybe. But let's put that on the back now. We have here a couple of Fungo Pops that are from Spooks' collection. So um, cool. Who have you got? You've got... Shane. You've got Drakeen Dr 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 or something like that. And we've also got your Cleo from Monster High. Who can almost never stand up. They are a bit top heavy, aren't they? So let's move those out of the way then, please. So we've got some wire, we've got some skewers, we've got pliers mm -hmm. here as well. And we've also got some epoxy so this is epoxy sculpt we've got part a and part b if you mix them together they slowly start to turn hard it's a bit stinky but it's okay you need to wear gloves when you're mixing it but you can just use your bare fingers when you're molding it and we're going to be using this to put some forms onto our funko pop basics over here well, let's have a look at them we are going to have to decide who gets which one so we've got one male and one female you can see they're very different in shape there which one do you want to get you want the female. I don't really mind which one I get, so that's fine. And we're good. And so we're gonna have a good close look at them. I mean, they're quite solid. I mean, they're, they're very sturdy. Who's got the biggest buns? Who's got the biggest buns? Mm. I think hers are more pronounced, definitely. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I, I really have no idea what I want to do with this. Have you got any idea what you want to do with yours? I guess I'll just make her into Lady Dimitrescu. <laughs> you want to make her into Lady Dimitrescu? Are you sure that's what you want to do? <laughs> are you going to do it creepy or are you going to do it cute? Creepy. Creepy. I think we're both going to do creepy ones this time. I've got an idea of what I want to do with mine. But before we get on to the exciting making part of it, there's something that we need to say. Like, share and subscribe or I'm going to poke your eyes out. Okay. Don't do that to my camera, no. Please like, share and subscribe. Have you done these kinds of make your own Funko Pop yourself? Let us know down in the comments down there somewhere. Share us some pictures on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so we've got our little figures there ready to go. We've got the poxy sculpt here. Before we can do anything, we need to... Sandpaper it! Sandpaper it. If we don't do this, the epoxy sculpt will not cling to the model. Next thing we need to do is wear these lovely pink gloves so that we can mix the epoxy sculpt. Okay, so do you want me to get yours first? So how much do you think you're going to need? I'm going to start with the bottom area. It's better to have a little bit. That much. Bit. I'm going to okay. put it into a bowl. Keeping this tool with this epoxy sculpt so we know that it's come with that one. Okay. Is that big enough? Roll it into a bowl first oh, and we'll see. Is it about the same size? Yeah. Yeah, that's Start good. mixing. I think sandwich. It smells like sweat. It's horrible. It yeah. smells like bread for me. Right, so I've got my two pieces. Out there from in YouTube land. Actually, I 
Okay, I'm gonna give her like cross eyes. Oh, her angry eyes. Like I said cross, because if she's angry. So, you can see, can see, so you can see, I've kind of done sort of almost a skull jaw there. Giving him horns and giving him tentacles. I basically went overboard with all the creeptastic things that I could possibly put on him. I made him a little bit of a machine man. And I hope all these things stay stuck, otherwise, we're going to have lots of gluing to do tomorrow. And what's about yours, Demetrescu? So, yours has got the cross eyes, and you've got the long fingernails, and the hair, and the little hat. Now we just need to leave them to dry for 24 hours, and then we can come back and paint them. And let's just hope and pray that things will not fall off. Please, please, trying gods, please don't let them fall apart. And we will see you in 24 hours. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Welcome back. So, what do we think of what's happened so far then, Squinks? I think it's been really good. I, th I think it's looking amazing. I think they've turned out really well. There's a few little rough areas, but I think it's worked really well. It's going to work in our favour because the Funko Pops already have a primer, but we might need to put some white over these areas if we're going to do pale colours. If we're doing dark colours, it doesn't matter so much, but just remember, we might need two or three coats to make sure that the grey doesn't show through. I think the wires on this one and on yours work really well. As you can see there, I've got some copper wires, so sort of steampunky. I've got some fingernails on Demetrescu. Wait, show a picture of Demetrescu with a nail. Squinks has done this one, and next to her, I'll show a picture of Lady Demetrescu. Are you going to try and curve the nails? I'm just going to leave them like they are, so they're more like claws. Yeah, I'm going to leave them how they are. Okay. That's what it looks like in the game, I think. So, on to the next part of it, and that is... Painting! painting. We've got our lovely palette here that is completely stained in all kinds of colours. We've just got these basic acrylics from Pebio and Hobbycraft and Dale around me. They're not like model makers acrylics. Um, but I think they'll work well. So we've got some Hobbycraft gold here and we've got some De La Rowney Studio Graduate Acrylics. They're some nice colours. So we're going to just see how they work out. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. And let's go. I'm going to try and do his skin a sort of greyish colour first. And then I'm going to go on to the tentacles and then see how we go from there. Oh no, what happened to Demetrescu? She forgot to put on her makeup. Okay, so we are done. We have finished our we have finished our Funko remakes. There's been a few little mistakes, things we've learned from it. I think I would like to get some different versions of colours, maybe get some folk art matte acrylics as the professionals use. And mm. which one do you want to review first, Squinks? Yours. First of all, what did you think of the, the task? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. Okay, well this one's mine. I don't know what he is. He's the um, being on the jellyfish planet. He's the being on the jellyfish planet. So he's sort of a human octopus hybrid with some sort of steampunky elements. If I had longer, I would probably do a better paint job. But I think overall, he's done really well. I'm quite pleased with the epoxy sculpt because it's held really, really firmly. What do you think? It's got like mm -hmm. sort of cybernetic components and he's got what I think are octopus tentacles slowly developing and for some reason he's got horns as well. What do you think of him, Squinks? I think it looks good. What do you think out there of his mouth? I think he looks like he's got lipstick. It looks really good. It does look like he's wearing lipstick though. It Can looks like he's been eating something. Okay, and so now we've got your lady. Yeah, lady Demetrescu. If you don't know, it's from Resident Evil. I'll see if I can get a picture of her to put up. You can hold it up to the camera. Okay, so what do you think? I think 
actually turned out quite well. It does actually look like them Dressku. It does. I mean, the, the dress works. I think the long fingernails work. She's got a very cross face. Mm -hmm. I painted her feet. That's good. Does her head still move? It, it does. does! Yay! But it's very heavy. It is quite heavy. The one thing I was worried with yours was that, because you've got the hats and you've got mm -hmm. the hair, I was worried that it was going to be quite top heavy so it wouldn't stand up. But I think it works. I think he looks really cool. I think he looks quite creepy. Okay, and so tell us in the comments below which one do you think works the best? Is it the Squid Cyborg Man thing or is it Squinx's Lady Dimitrescu? If you had a Funko Pop of your own to remould, what would you make out of it? So in the comments below. Mm -hmm. I've enjoyed this but and I think I'll do it again. And I think in the future once I'm better at this, I'm going to redo the Dimitrescu. I've enjoyed it. I mean the models themselves weren't that cheap. But, you know, I think that the end results speak for themselves. If you haven't yet, please remember to... Like, share and subscribe and click the notification bell and comment down whether you like bananas. And do you enjoy Funko Pops? What's been your favourite Funko Pops so far? Please share any pictures with us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And I'll put the magic words on here for you to come and find us. That's it for today's episode. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you in the next week. Wait, wait.